प्लीज सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन प्लीज सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेरी वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली स्टूडेंट्स विल कीप यूजिंग सो मेनी फॉर्मुलाज आई विल फर्स्ट एक्सप्लेन यू द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन देन लेट अस सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन एवरी वन लिजन टू दिस केयरफुली सर एवरी वन लिजन टू दिस केयरफुली आई हैव ए पेन आई परचेजड दिस पेन फॉर सम अमाउंट दट ईज नथिंग बट कॉस्ट प्राइज ई हैव ए पेन विथ मी ई पर्चेजड दिस पेन फॉर सम अमाउंट ई वॉन्ट टू सेल दट पेन फॉर यू ई सोल्ड दट पेन फॉर फाइव सेवेंटी रुपीज ई सोल्ड द पेन वाट एवर ई हैव विथ मी फॉर फाइव सेवेंटी रुपीज फॉर यू इफ ई सेल द पेन फॉर फाइव सेवेंटी रुपीज फॉर यू ई विल हैव ए लॉस ऑफ फाइव पर्सेंटेज ई विल हैव ए लॉस ऑफ फाइव पर्सेंटेज इफ ई सेल द पेन फॉर फाइव सेवेंटी रुपीज फॉर यू बट any person who is listening to this class do you like to have loss in your life definitely no one will wish to have loss in their life so what i thought is i had a loss of 5 percentage when i sold the pen for 570 rupees what i planned is i planned in such a way that i want to convert that loss of 5 percentage to a profit of 5 percentage if the loss of 5 percentage had to become the profit of 5 percentage at what price i need to sell the product everyone listen to this carefully i already told some students that please avoid commenting the answers if you know the answer so please have it with yourself you might get the answer but the way of approaching that answer is very important that is what is will anc teach you everyone please stop commenting the answers sir now see here i will teach you in two methods whichever the method you are comfortable with you can pick that method yesterday if you remember fifth formula we wrote in our class that fifth formula is nothing but selling price is equal to cost price into 1 minus loss percentage selling price is equal to cost price into 1 minus loss loss percentage one is nothing but 100 percentage right one is 100 percentage that means when the loss is 5 percentage when the loss is 5 percentage one is nothing but 100 percentage my selling price will be how much my selling price in that case will be 570 rupees that means 570 is equal to cost price into 95 percentage 100 minus 5 is 95 percentage this is my first equation similarly i had another formula yesterday what i wrote selling price is equal to cost price into 1 plus profit percentage selling price is equal to cost price into 1 plus profit percentage when the profit is 5 percentage 100 percent plus 5 percent is 105 percent when the profit is 5 percentage i am actually finding what should be my selling price sp is what we need to find this is my second equation now i have two equations if i solve those two equations equation 1 divided by equation 2 left hand side of equation 2 is sp Right, left hand side of equation one is five seventy. If you observe the right hand side, in both the equations, CP CP will cancel. Percentage percentage will cancel. Left right hand side of equation two is one not five. Equation one right hand side is ninety five. If you simplify cross multiplying, selling price you will get it as six hundred and thirty rupees. This is one of the methods which will be given in the textbooks, which we are least bothered about. Why? Because this uses formulas. There are two formulas that we need to buy heart in this method. We will buy heart two formulas in this method, and then we will solve that problem by using two formulas. That is the reason we are not interested in this method. Please avoid this kind of methodology. Please avoid this kind of methodology. Now, everyone, listen to this carefully, sir. everyone listen to my method to i will write the question once again selling price is nothing but 570 rupees loss percentage is nothing but 5 percentage what should be the selling price if the profit percentage is 5 percentage method 2 anc way of solving the problem without using any two equations everyone listen carefully to this method sir can i say that loss percentage is 5 percentage means what is the meaning of 5 percentage 5 percentage is 5 by 100 5 by 100 is 5 into 1 5 into 20 it is 1 by 20 i already taught you in my 
previous classes also saying that you have a numerator you have a denominator denominator always represent your initial value cost price is the initial value that means denominator is cost price and the denominator value is 20 what is numerator if it is loss percentage numerator is loss that means loss is nothing but 1 rupee cost price is 20 rupees loss is 1 rupee what should be the selling price selling price should be 19 rupees but according to the question selling price is how much according to the question when the loss is 5 percentage it is 570 19 is becoming 570 multiply by 30 20 also multiply by 30 20 into 30 is nothing but 600 that means i purchased the pen for 600 rupees i purchased the pen for 600 rupees now i want to make 5 percent profit my cost price is 600 rupees 10 percentage of 600 is 60 5 percentage means half of 10 percentage what is half of 60 30 that means on 600 i should have 30 rupees profit and then i need to sell it so that my selling price should be how much 630 kindly avoid using formula to solve any problem and this method we will implement in all the problems because any tricky question also this method will make it be will make it to be a very easy methodology and you will understand over a period of time i hope the idea is clear for you people suppose for example it will clear everyone's doubt at one shot everyone please listen carefully in our school days we studied this concept if one pen costs if one pen cost 5 rupees then what is the cost of seven pens if one pen cost 5 rupees then what is the cost of seven pens now please listen carefully if one pen cost 5 rupees what is the cost of seven pens how we were solving in school days let the cost of seven pens be x and then we were cross multiplying that is the method what we were implementing in our school days but what we are implementing right now is one is becoming seven one is becoming seven multiply by seven five also multiply by seven five into seven what should be the answer answer should be 35 or another way of doing is another way of doing is one is becoming five multiply by five 7 also multiply by 5. 7 into 5 is 35. You asked me a question. Sir, what if there is no multiplying factor? Cross multiply. Simple, right? I am teaching you the basic mathematics what we studied in school days. I hope the idea of this question is clear. If you do not have multiplying factor, and another one answer for your information, most of the questions what they give in the examination, will definitely have multiplying factors if there is no multiplying factor you know how to solve it right now do not worry about it just cross multiply and solve it next question i hope this idea is clear for each and every student next question just to keep on listening i am very very particular about today's class some beautiful questions are going to come 